For our viewers out there, I'm Dr. Michael Lang. I'm a board certified optometric physician as well as a certified nutritional specialist. I'm the founder of Fortify Vitamins and the Lang Eye Institute. And I'm Karen Hecht. I'm the scientific affairs manager at Astoreal, and my background is in biochemistry and molecular biology as well as algal biology specifically. All right, so today we're going to talk about a very powerful and potent antioxidant called astaxanthin. Mm -hmm. What actually is astaxanthin? So astaxanthin is actually a really important nutrient that's found in the foods we eat, especially in salmon. Wild-caught salmon has a, is a great source for natural astaxanthin. And this is a red pigment and a really powerful antioxidant. It's in the carotenoid family of molecules, so it's similar, same family as beta-carotene and carrots or lycopene and tomatoes. And the reason that we say it's the most powerful antioxidant found in nature is because it is actually highest on something called the ORAC scale, which looks at how well astaxanthin can actually neutralize oxygen free radicals. And it is 6,000 times stronger than vitamin C and 800 times stronger than CoQ10, so it's a really powerful antioxidant. ORAC, oxygen radical absorbency capacity. Awesome, 10 right. points. <laughs> <laughs> now, can we get astaxanthin in our diet? You know, we can, um, but it's hard to get it from diet alone because the average American eats maybe two pounds of salmon a year. And that only gives us about 11 milligrams of astaxanthin for the whole year, whereas we recommend four to six milligrams a day for the eye benefits and muscle benefits that we're gonna be talking about. And if you were going to get it from wild salmon, it's really recommended that it's wild salmon versus farm-raised salmon. That's right, and that's because farm-raised salmon actually uses synthetic astaxanthin for the coloration to give it that nice distinctive red color, but synthetic astaxanthin is actually not the same structure exactly as natural astaxanthin, and all of our studies are on natural astaxanthin for human health. So Astoreal Astaxanthin is the most studied brand of natural astaxanthin out there with over 60 clinical studies in humans. Right, when I was developing the Fortify Focus uh, pill, I did a lot of research and came to you guys, uh, and we're using astaxanthin six milligrams in our current Fortify Focus uh, supplements. And that brings up how much astaxanthin do we really recommend, especially for eye health? Yes, yeah, so for eye health, we have over 16 human clinicals and we use six milligrams a day for eye health. And I really like your formulation, the Fortify Focus, because it combines three carotenoids that are so well studied and, and good for the eyes. So you've got your, your lutein and zeaxanthin for the back of the eye to filter out harmful blue rays and protect the retina and the macula from you know computers and all these digital screens that we're exposed to these days. And then astaxanthin for the front of the eye, it deposits in the ciliary body and the muscles at the front of the eye to help to reduce eye strain and eye fatigue. Now, how does astaxanthin specifically work in the eye? So it starts when you take that little pill, it gets absorbed in the gut, and it goes through your circulatory system. It's actually able to pass through the blood retinal barrier, and we have studies that show it deposits in that ciliary muscle. And once it's there, it selectively is a mitochondrial nutrient. So your muscles have a lot of mitochondria. Those are the engines of the cell. They produce the energy in muscles. And one of the byproducts of you know, muscle metabolism is reactive oxygen species. And those are free radicals that can cause damage to the, to the muscle. And that's part of what contributes to some of the eye strain that we associate when that ciliary muscle is working really hard when we're focusing on something nearby. Mm -hmm. So astaxanthin is positioned right in those mitochondria, in the ciliary body, in the eye, it neutralizes those free radicals and help to reduce that eye strain. And I'm seeing clinically with patients for many, many years now, uh, when we hit the age of 40, we become a presbyope. We lose that ability to focus up close. Our arms aren't long enough anymore. Right. When we put them on Fortify Focus, we can actually delay that presbyopia. I'm 55 years of age, actually 56, and 
I don't need reading glasses. I can see 0.37M print. Now, if I'm gonna read War and Peace at midnight, I'm gonna put some reading glasses on, but uh, it really has helped my accommodative ability. And clinically, I see this with our patients. I mean, when you think about it, the majority of our patients are on a computer for a prolonged period of time. And most of us are not eating wild Alaskan salmon, spinach and kale, orange bell peppers, goji berries, the things that are high in these carotenoids. So what better than to be able to take a supplement that gives the astaxanthin, the lutein and the zeaxanthin. Especially now with all the man-made synthetic blue light that's coming from our computers and the prolonged near point uh, from the computer and the iPad and the iPhone. Uh, it makes sense to have a supplement that combats against uh, the near point stress and the blue light. Now how does astaxanthin compare to other carotenoids in the same family lutein and zeaxanthin. Right, so in terms of antioxidant capacity, astaxanthin is about two to three times stronger an antioxidant than lutein and zeaxanthin. But you know, the other nice thing about it is they don't compete. So you can put those three carotenoids together and we have studies that show the absorption of those carotenoids is the same. So they are all able to function sort of in harmony in different parts of the eye. And the other thing that's interesting about astaxanthin is its structure. It's got sort of this chain in the middle, this straight chain, and then these two rings with oxygens mm -hmm. on the ends. And the rings at the ends, they like water a little bit more, and the middle part just likes fat. It's a fat-soluble nutrient. So it fits into the membrane structure, because that's how our membranes are also organized. They've got like an Oreo cookie, if you think mm -hmm. about it. You know, the cookie part likes water a little bit more, and the cream in the middle is really fat-loving. And so astaxanthin's able to just fit right in there like a little puzzle piece, perfect, without disrupting the membrane structure. And spanning, it's able to protect either side of the membrane and the inside. So you get good coverage, good antioxidants. So coverage. really, I mean, good for virtually almost every cell in the body. Yeah, absolutely. Anywhere where you've got membranes, astaxanthin's going to go there. And specifically in the mitochondria, about 35% of all the membrane partitioned astaxanthin is in the mitochondria where those free radicals are formed. So it's there at the source. So astaxanthin crosses the blood retinal barrier and actually gets into the eye, gets into the front part of the eye. Mm -hmm. I think it actually helps circulation in the choreal capillaries. But lutein and zeaxanthin goes right into the macula, helping replenish something called macular pigment density. Mm -hmm. Now, the astaxanthin does not compete against the lutein and zeaxanthin, however, we're correct? Right, that's right. They do not compete, so they function in different ways to help promote eye health. So one of the biggest things that I see in clinical practice is a condition called CVS or computer vision syndrome. We see it in very young children and we see it in very old adults. Yeah, right. So it's, CVS is a relatively new phenomenon. Our exposure to digital screens and devices is really amazing how much we about nine and a half hours a day on average exposure to screen time and so what we have to be aware of in those situations exactly yeah, some people that's the first thing they see in the morning before they touch a cup of coffee they'll they'll yeah. reach for their uh, you know smartphone so we've got to consider posture focus, light, and blinking. When we stare at a screen for a prolonged period of time, uh, our poor posture tends to cause some stiffness and aching in the neck or shoulders or lower back. Then we've got those ciliary muscles being stressed because we're focusing on something nearby, which means the muscles have to stay contracted for a really long time. Then we've got our light, you know, the glare and blue light from the screen damaging the back of the eye, the macula causing stress there. And and finally, we actually don't blink as often when we stare at computer screens. The blinking and, and the posture, you know, that can partly be alleviated by ergonomics. And the blue light problem can be helped by lutein and zeaxanthin. And the focus, helping your ciliary muscles be more resilient to those prolonged screen times, that's where astaxanthin comes in. And we do have studies on astoreal astaxanthin specifically that show we can improve the near point of focus, reduce symptoms of eye strain and eye fatigue, and also improve reaction time. So how quickly you're able to adjust focus, focus and refocus from near objects to far objects. Right, so all of my patients, I recommend that they blink frequently while they're on the computer. Yeah. The 20-20 rule for every 20 minutes on the computer, take a 
20 second break and focus on something in the distance mm -hmm. and take fortify focus. So we're getting the triple carotenoid action, we're getting the break and we're spreading tear films uh, over the cornea so your eyes aren't drying out by following those three rules. And it really is very effective. It only takes you know 15 seconds to actually discuss that with your patient. And computer vision syndrome is, is quite prevalent in today's society and it ain't getting any better. It's progressively getting more and more. And we actually see patients clinically that get severe dry eye related to computer vision syndrome. They're concentrating, they're not blinking. Um, we also like to add omega-3 fish oil with the Fortify Focus. That's kind of a double whammy uh, against dry eye uh, in patients that are especially on a computer, an iPad, a tablet. Yeah, and being a fat-soluble nutrient, astaxanthin and omega-3s actually go really well together. Astaxanthin as an antioxidant can help preserve the omega-3 and prevent it from, uh, from becoming oxidized and then the omega-3 can actually help the astaxanthin get absorbed better in the gut. You know a lot of people will say ah, you don't need vitamins but let's face it most of us are not eating 13 servings of organically grown fruits and vegetables a day wild Alaskan salmon mm -hmm. frequently and so I vitamins are a great way to get the necessary nutrients that have been studied clinically. The problem is many of the I vitamins on the market are filled with binders and fillers and synthetic dyes and I personally think may do more harm than good. We obviously use Astoreal and there's a reason I use Astoreal. Let's expand on the reasons I do use Astoreal. Sure. So certainly it's difficult to get it from diet alone. You would have to eat something like three fillets of coho salmon, wild raw coho salmon a day, or 12 fillets of king salmon, wild and raw a day. So it's much easier to get your six milligrams from just one soft gel, right? So commercially, when we produce these supplements, we use an algae called Hematococcus pluvialis. It's a single-celled green algae, and the way it responds to high illumination and low nutrient conditions is by producing this astaxanthin, which helps to protect it from environmental environmental factors. And the astaxanthin that we produce is made in closed indoor photobioreactors. We've got a state-of-the-art facility in Moses Lake, Washington. It's made in the USA. And what we do in this facility is we filter air and we filter water. So we've got HEPA filtered air, which is the same kind of filtration they use in hospitals, and um, reverse osmosis filtered water. Algae, which is basically a crop, where you grow it and how you grow it really matters, is now going to be breathing in clean air, taking up good nutrients and clean water, which removes contaminants and really makes this Astoreal Astaxanthin a quality clean product that you can trust. And that's why I think Astoreal Astaxanthin is really the gold standard in my opinion. I just came back from the American College of Nutrition annual conference. You know, they talked quite a bit about astaxanthin and the overall health benefits and Astoreal stood out as one of the only ones that didn't have contaminants in it. And you know, my patients are like family members, so I really want the best for my patients and once again that's why we're using Astoreal in our Fortify Focus. And many of my patients, their disease entities are related to inflammation. We have uveitis, we have iritis, we have corneal keratitis. And you know, I've used lutein and zeaxanthin for many years, but it wasn't until we added astaxanthin from Astoreal to our products that I started seeing an effect, a positive effect, on all these inflammatory conditions. So for my dry eye patients, I, I put everybody on the Fortify Focus. And I really firmly believe that it's the astaxanthin component in it because I see much less inflammation in the eye mm -hmm. when I just use lutein and zeaxanthin by itself we didn't see this benefit. So definitely the mechanism of action for astaxanthin is two-pronged. So in addition to being a great antioxidant, it does also have some anti-inflammatory properties. And we've seen that it interacts and downregulates the NF-kappa B pathway, which is one of the inflammatory pathways that acts in our bodies to cause inflammation. So we have a study that just came out um, in 2016 looking at inflammation in skin for example. So it's six milligrams a day. Um, after taking astaxanthin, we saw participants of the study had actually fewer inflammation markers in the skin. We also have studies in soccer players, you know, exercising really intensely does cause inflammation in muscles. One of the markers there is C-reactive protein, and we've actually seen that astaxanthin helps to reduce serum 
some levels of this inflammation marker C-reactive protein in the soccer players. So definitely astaxanthin has more than one way of helping us out, both antioxidant and anti-inflammatory functions, which is part of what makes it such a unique antioxidant. Right, and also the lion's share of my patients are very old and they also have rheumatoid arthritis. Now, I don't know if this has even been studied, but earlier today we had hosted a radio show and we even had a caller that called in talking about his arthritis seemed to be better. So it makes sense if it has anti-inflammatory properties, not only will it help with inflammatory components in the eye, but possibly in the entire body. And I do have many patients that also notice they have minimal or minimized wrinkles in their face. Skin health. I'm excited about the product. Yes, I mean the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory functions do help those areas quite a lot by protecting the structural proteins under our skin and the deeper layers of skin. We can actually help to reduce wrinkling and actually support hydration and elasticity of the skin. Also by supporting the musculoskeletal structure that helps keep joints aligned and take pressure off the joints so that you're actually helping mobility over time. So some of the uh, things you mentioned earlier in terms of why grow astaxanthin the way that we do and what makes Astoreal astaxanthin unique, the way it works essentially is you start off with the, the algae, mm -hmm. Hematococcus pluvialis, growing happily in the green phase and it's clean filtered water and filtered air, nice clean environment, and that comes from our our, uh, heritage from our parent company, Fuji Chem Chemical Industries, and they are a pharmaceutical company. So we have those, you know, the pharmaceutical principles that we try to bring into our manufacturing facility, facility in Moses Lake, Washington. And when the algae are growing happily in the green phase, once we get them to a good density, what we do is we switch them out, we increase light, and this helps the astaxanthin um, come to come into focus, so to speak. So the algae will switch now from green phase to what's called the red phase. And in this phase, they're gonna break down that green chlorophyll and start to pump out that red astaxanthin. And what you want, ideally, is to catch the algae when they've made the most astaxanthin they can. They're at the mature red phase and they've broken down all of that green chlorophyll. And because we're growing our algae indoors where we can control all the conditions, nutrients, light, temperature, you name it, we're able to harvest really precisely when the algae are in the mature red phase. And that's really hard to do when you're growing outdoors where you've got variable weather and sunlight, you know, you just harvest when you can. So you're getting those algae before they've completely matured. And what happens is when you're getting that contaminating chlorophyll because you've harvested immature algae, this actually compromises is the stability of the astaxanthin. So this is why an indoor facility is, is the better way to go in, in our case, because you do get higher astaxanthin content and greater stability. So when it goes into Fortify Focus, you can be sure you're actually gonna get the astaxanthin that it says on that label. Yeah, you have total control really over the development of the product. Yep. And I always preach that to my patients. I say, if they're not gonna take Fortify Focus, get a product that has real astaxanthin in it. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much, my pleasure. Okay, yeah. awesome, I love it. I think this was a great day, <laughs> good job.